Hi, my name is Mario Lanaza, and I am a systems engineer on the NetApp Navy uh, DoD team. Today I'm going to talk about NetApp encryption, specifically NetApp volume encryption, or NVE. Uh, NetApp volume encryption supports data at rest one volume at a time. We also do our offer hardware-based encryption, or NSC, which supports full disk encryption, FDE. But today I'm going to talk about our um, software-based encryption, which was introduced in uh, 9.1, ONTAP version 9.1. To determine if your system uh, can uh, have NetApp volume encryption or is capable, you would just type the version dash V command. And you see there is uh, this output. If it said no DAR, then your system cannot handle it. Again, you must be running um, on tap 9.1 and support a hardware version, uh, an engineered system that supports uh, NetApp volume encryption, such as our FAS 2600 line, our, our 8200, our 9000, our 8020, 80, and 8040, 8060, and 8080. So the next step is to set up the onboard key manager. So this uh, secures the keys that the cluster uses to access the uh, encrypted data. You must enable the onboard key manager on each cluster that accesses an encrypted volume or a self-encrypted disk. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, this is done all on the command line. I'm sure it will be implemented uh, in the GUI in the next version or two, but right now you must use the command line. So the command, uh, I've already installed the license, so the command is security key manager setup. Again, you would just hit yes. Then you'd in, enter in a uh, passphrase. Then you re-enter it in. and you're good to go. That's how quick and easy it is to uh, set up the um, onboard key manager. Once we have the key manager set up, uh, the next step is just to uh, set up encryption on the volumes. I don't have any encryption set up. In order to encrypt a volume that already exists that is not encryption, you have to issue a vol move command. You can uh, move the volume within the same aggregate, so you don't have to move it to a different aggregate. So it is uh, very easy. So you can see um, I have the volume show encryption. And this shows me if encryption is enabled on any of the volumes. Uh, so it isn't. I would like to encrypt the uh, volume uh, vol underscore one on the storage virtual machine called SVM. C1 and it is very simple. You can see I'm doing a val move command. Val move start the V server or storage virtual machine is SVM C1, the volume val1, destination aggregate. I am doing uh, aggregate one. So I can switch this uh, to the uh, same aggregate. and encryption destination, and this is going to be true or false. You can unencrypt with this command too um, by sending it to false. So now we have uh, the job status, and to check, we see that now uh, volume one um, is in the process. That's why you see this temp, because it's doing a vowel move. And once it's done, um, it is encrypted. Storage virtual machine. 
one volume one error one is now online and it is encrypted and it's easy as that to enable encryption at the volume level with NetApp volume encryption offered in 9.1 let's say you just wanted to create a new volume uh, and started out with encryption so that's very easy so you do um, volume create and then you want to choose the vServer or storage virtual machine I'm going to do SVMC1 and then you um, use the volume command you uh, create the volume name one n and then you choose the aggregate so I'm going to choose aggregate one underscore Charlie one and then the encrypt command Sorry. And then we just type true. Now you're going to create a volume called val1 underscore en on aggregate one charlie one and it will be encrypted. There's no export policy, that's fine. Then if you check, we'll show are both encrypted. So I have two encrypted volumes now. Again, you can have unencrypted and encrypted volumes within the same area, which is very nice. This command will also show the two encrypted volumes. Volume show is encrypted true. Do this shows the volumes that are not encrypted.